It is the road to the Stanley Cup, and it kicks off tonight. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. How did he stop that one? That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Pass to Suzuki. Montreal's got it against the board. Good fight for the puck along the boards. A centering... There it is, James. The first goal of this playoff series. And everyone wanted that one. You want to play with the lead, and you certainly want to dictate it. The Canadians get one quickly here, and they're up early in the first. That's so important when you're the away team that you don't come out flat. You get your lines into it right away, and they're rewarded with a goal in that first quarter of the period. Devastating collision into the boards. Score! Oh, that was a beauty! Incredible. Two goals, 30 seconds apart. Quick response back to back here, and the team is humming. Yeah, and talk about putting your opponent on their heels. Even I could have scored off that unbelievable feed, James. He's just able to corral that pass and put it in the back of the net. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Canadians have all the momentum right now, leading by two. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Big time stop! This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice, is in the slot area, and he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Quick pass to Kobe. Hooked away in the neutral zone. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. The Canadians have it now. Receives the pass. Moves it to Pearson. Wow. Scores! And they're cooking now. Well, the opponent has no answer for them right now because they're relentless on the puck. They've garnered some momentum after multiple back-to-back -back goals, James. They don't want to leave any breathing room and let their opponent get some life back. Well, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to in the wheelhouse, where their blade, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. The Canadians couldn't ask for a better start tonight. They are just absolutely on fire in the offensive end. Dished on over to Briere. Into the offensive zone. Huge steal in his own end. What a hit on the play. Oh, my. Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags them, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that's just that. Rocks him on the play. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. Anderson's got it in the defensive end. Textbook poke check by Jersey. Sent into the offensive zone. Tries to get it to Devorak. Arizona's got possession of the puck. Nice. Oh, James, goalies get really angry about these ones. You have a defensive zone turnover. You could be out of your zone. Instead, the goalies cut out of position and the puck's in the back of your net. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Arizona's got to find a way to get a few more goals here as they still trail by a pair. Puck picked up in the open ice. On the attack along the boards. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Answered the call there. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. And this time, he bails his team out. Oh, no one's filthy. Look at this. Well-respected and a great competitor between the pipes. The Canadians continue to lead 
midway through the first. They have really put on an offensive clinic so far. And now it's grabbed by Monaghan. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of the Scores! And I think he put this in on his own. Well, uh, he did, James, and this is so deflating when you put it in on your own and you can just see the body language. He is not happy. Oh, that's a really tough goal, James. You can see the frustration on his face and the body language. Just thinks he lost track of it as it found the back of the net. but still need one more to even the score. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PK. Advantage unit is set. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Puck clears the zone. Scooped up along the wall by Kraus. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop. Oh, we got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Here comes the call. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. The Canadians roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five on three. In a five on three, you have advantages all over the ice in the offensive zone, but you still can move. You can move and isolate players. When you do this, you create movement, more opportunity. That's exactly what you have to do. Here's the chance to clear the puck from his own end. And they take care of business on the play. Slides it over to Caulfield. Quick feed to Suzuki. And another call against the home team and these fans of I think they've had enough. They've had enough and they're booing at the officials and for the players. This is so frustrating to try and kind of get the temperature of the way the officials gonna call the game and real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. The Canadians with a five on three and they've got loads of time to work with here. With all this time on the five on three, yes, you can be more patient, but you don't want to get low to sleep on the outside. You have to move the coverage a little bit outside of the middle of the ice. Oh, right with the man advantage, and they make it click. Great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. Yeah. 
Montreal's taken a two-goal lead already here in the first period. They look dominant tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, they've been terrific tonight, James, and they've been able to execute. They've thrown a lot of pucks to the net, but they've managed it extremely well. They've opened up their own lanes, and they've got the opportunities. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Stetcher. Oh, he scores! Are you kidding me? Two goals in ten seconds? Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. James, the game is more than X's and O's. Sometimes it's emotional leadership that comes into play, and that's exactly what this goal means to this entire bench. As you see, everyone erupts when he scores. Buke stands gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And off the draw, they win the face-off. Poked away at center by Bugstad. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Moves it quickly over to Gallagher. The Canadians gain the zone. Gallagher's got it to the side. And that one stopped. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Gets it out of his own end. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Here's a blast. Denies him in front. Puck moved over to Anderson. And they continue to apply pressure here. Knocked off the puck. Picked up along the wall by Dvorak. Tries to feed it over to Newman. The Canadians gain control of the puck. Shot. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Well, he's showing great mobility here as he drops into the butterfly and moves across his crease with ease to make the save. He's been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. Scores! And they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this has been a potent power play. And two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. have been all over them, and there's still plenty of time left in this first. Arizona's won the faceoff at center. Velimaki's got it in the offensive zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Shot! Oh, stopped it! What a save on the play! And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Cheryl. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Montreal's looking to break out. Quick pass to Kachuk. He grabs the puck here at the point. Arizona's got the puck in the corner. Denies him! He got all of it! Slavkovsky's taking it from his own end. Grabbed along the board by Suzuki. Quick shot! Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it! Ah, uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player, you want to make a difference, and he does tonight.
position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. And a solid stop on the play there. Drives to the paint. Puck is scooped up here inside the offensive zone by Kerfoot. Left save made by Watt. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Kerfoot side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Montreal's won the draw. Gaining momentum along the wing. And they'll dump it in. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And he can't hang on after that hit. Moves it to Boyd. Moves along the boards with some purpose. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Takes the return feed. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Shoot it! Time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Welcome back, everybody. James Sabalski with you. Period number two, the middle frame ready to go. The Canadians go right back at it on the power play here and win the draw to start the frame. Slits it out in front. And he serves it across to Newman. Here they come on the attack. And now it's taken by Bugstad. Angles it over to Newman. Can't keep a hold of it. He's got a little jump. He scores! Oh, that was gorgeous! in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Suzuki. Puck picked up by Koivu. Went for the jerky dangle and it goes sideways. And that was a good heads up read to make that save. He really owns the crease when he drops into that butterfly positioning and for the shooter, I think it's intimidating. He makes himself as big as possible and everyone knows he's athletic to boot. Takes the feed. The Canadians are on the attack. Back to the point it goes. Kelly. Arizona's got it along the wall. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by the wall. The Canadians continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. Montreal's got the win off that draw. To a fight for the puck along the boards. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Gains the zone. Centering feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. There's the whistle, and here's the 
call. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. Try to kill off this penalty. Oh, what a hit on the wall! That's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Musa quickly over to Newman. In. Drives it to the crease. Decides to think about it. Matheson's gained the line and on the attack. Chance to reset here on the draw, this man advantage. Hayton's won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. And now he moves it quickly to Falamaki. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. Rocked on the play. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Dumps the puck in. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. The Canadians move it in. Sends the pass over. And he makes the save with ease. Joseph's really struggled tonight, and the team in front of him as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum of this game if they want to get back in it. Kerfoot's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Coyotes win it in the defensive zone. Arizona's got a hold of the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. Slides it quickly to Koivu. Slides the puck ahead to Caulfield. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Scores! And the pylon continues, and these home fans, I think, have had about enough. Yeah, they have had enough, and they made money, and they're leaving the building. Why? Because they are frustrated with their team. Just a lack of effort today, and just getting blown out of the water. Montreal's carried the puck like it's been on a string all night, Cheryl. Puck's been on their stick, and their opponent's been on their heels. They've just been worn down with the offensive zone possession time. And how about the goaltender? Seeing so much rubber tonight and a lot in the netting. Pearson's moving the puck through his own zone. Dishes it to Matheson. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, what a tangle! Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Chisholm. Picked up along the boards by Hayden. The Canadians gain control of the puck against the wall. There's the whistle and a much needed one at that, Cheryl. Lover and takes a breath of fresh air here as they're able to reset as they get chaotic in their own zone. They've lost their coverage. They get the whistle now. Montreal's offense came to play in a big way and they lead big time here in the second. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Grabs it in his own end. The Coyotes move the puck in the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How he hang on to that? Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Montreal's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Quick pass to Michelli. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop. Hard one. Some last-second communication. 
Jason, before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Evans wins the faceoff. Nice defensive robbery on that. And he takes a shot. Makes the save as he gets a piece of it with the clock. Arizona's grabbed a hold of the puck. The Canadians, they're playing in their own end. Arizona's got a hold of it against the wall. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. Moves it to Cooley. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Quick feed to Newman. Reaches out and uses the stick. Here's a shot, and he gets in front of that. The Canadians will play it from the defensive zone. Knocked away with the stick by Yandel. The Coyotes gain possession. Looking for space inside the D zone. Poked away at center by Suzuki. Montreal's got the puck in the defensive end. Ah, both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Fires it on net. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Montreal's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. The Canadians win the draw. Puck scooped up by Pearson. Sends a pass over. They've got the defense outnumbered. And he slides it quickly to Kalamaki. Scores! It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Arizona's got to find a way to build on this now. This is the time. It certainly is, James, and that's something to build off. When you get a goal, you can't sit idly by like you have all game. You have to find a way to execute and create some momentum and more offense if they want to get back in the game. Came up with the save on that play. Arizona's got to find a way back into this game, and it starts shift by shift and building momentum and trying to attack lanes. The mojo's got to change. The momentum's got to shift. The body language certainly has to show it as well. The Canadians get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, he rocked him on the play! Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Pass it up ahead. And that's poked away by Savard. Here's a short pass to Jersey. We're slotting close! Right in front of the official's eyes, and the hand is in the air. He doesn't like the call, but it's the ref's discretion, and he's going to the penalty box. The Coyotes get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Clearing attempt. And they clear the defensive zone. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. And that puck leaves the zone. Arizona's looking to break out of their own end. And he slides it quickly to Schmaltz. Broken up by Harris. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattling as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming. Across to Briere. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. The Canadians will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Great pressure to force the turnover. Score! And that's his first goal of the season ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You went to the playoffs. You want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. He is such a gifted playmaker. He's got eyes in the back of his head, and it's not just about the pass he makes, but it is so accurate, tape to tape, that it makes it easier for the shooter to execute. 
Arizona's been outworked all night long, but they finally got something they can push back with now. Yeah, they got to continue to push as well if they want to give themselves an opportunity to feel like they can get back in this one. And that's going to start with some hard work, the good old intangibles, and the feeling that they can get back in. And it all starts with execution, though, James, and have to play physical. Musa quickly over to Doc. Great pressure in the offensive end by Anderson. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Great heads up play by the defender. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast. So don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. You're having a great night. Two periods down. One more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. It has been an offensive fireworks display here tonight, and I would expect it to continue here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Coyotes had a solid 40 minutes of play, and they haven't been rewarded in terms of the game score, James, but I do believe that they can get back in this game if they continue with the good habits. They've had a high percentage of possession in this game. They dominated the play in the offensive zone. It's just a matter of translating it into offense. Another chance here on the man advantage. When the power play is working, James, man, does it feel good. Everything is working. The systems, the coach is happy, the team is happy. Everything is working in their favor. Got some good footwork to kick it away. Puck grab by Devorah. Recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Canadians take possession here inside the offensive zone. Joseph's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Another faceoff looming here on this power play. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. The Coyotes from kill off. They've got an on-man rush. A pass. And they can't finish the rush as that play falls apart. Quick pass to Hayden. Here's a chance. Oh, great save there. A little rock of sock him on the play. Oh, he makes a save. Just got enough to keep it out. Dvorak's lugging the puck. Sends the pass in front. around the perimeter creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice. And when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly and they're able to hammer it home. The Canadians continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. But in all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James, have also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're fun to watch. Montreal's on total cruise control early in this third period. Arizona's won the faceoff. The Canadians grab possession to the puck. Gets the puck in deep. Arizona's got the puck along the boards. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. The Canadians are getting called for boring on the play. Well, sometimes a simple set on a power play is the most effective, James. We saw it earlier. When you've got shooters, players that can just rip a bomb from the point, you want to make sure you got them set up and teed up along the blue line. But it doesn't work unless you get net front presence. you got to get eyes in front of the tender. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. And he passes it up ahead to Kerfoot. 
Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Cooley. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play even strength. are calling. The Canadians will serve two for slashing. The Coyotes once again send out their power play unit. The power play has seen success tonight and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion and really reading where the places to attack is. Montreal's got the puck shorthanded. The Coyotes have it against the wall. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. There's a shot! Oh, great glove save, Boudreaux! That's a great save as he drops into the butterfly. You want to make sure that you take away the top of the net, but you know you got the lower net covered, and the agility to be able to move across the crease is an example right there. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. The Canadians gain control of the puck. And they manage to clear it. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Brisbane. And the puck leads the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a lot load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. Puck picked up by Jersey. And it's a quick pass to Michelli. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. It's an opportunity for the power play unit to go to work now as the penalty expires. Montreal's got the puck against the boards. Here's the pass. Denies him in close. Well, this is an incredible save, 
James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. And that shot dies in traffic. Handles it along the blue line. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck under man. Directs it on over to Jersey. Arizona's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, that's blocked. What a stop by Roy. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Fugue stands ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Suzuki's won it off the faceoff. Poked away in the offensive zone by Bugstad. Makes his presence known on the ice. Oh, oh, oh. Almost ready to get back on the ice. The Canadians have it from their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Here's a short pass to Colby. as the play's blown dead. Oh, no, there he goes again, James. It's the second time this period, and it's real tough to get into a rhythm on your bench when you consistently take penalties. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. 
Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on one all over. The Coyotes will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Montreal's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And the play continues. Passes it to Briere. Play is called for offside. Schmaltz will look to win possession here on the faceoff and try to continue this power play on the right note. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Dumps it into the Ozone. Slides it diagonally to Kachuk. From the right side, they gain the zone. Great reach by Schmaltz. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. Close face so fast and just taken down. And they send it down the ice. A little back and forth. The Coyotes looking against the half wall. The Canadians have possession shorthanded and manages to clear the zone. Arizona's got a hold of the puck now. Slides it to Keller. Here's a centering pass. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Solid check to slow him down. He's got a little jump. on that hit. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Ten more seconds. The Canadians have it in the offensive end. Fantastic save! Joseph's been outstanding. I mean, he gets to position to be able to make that point playing save. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. And he loses control here. Kachuk's got it along the boards. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Makes a save. Scooped up along the wall by Pearson. Hook the way and forces the turnover at center. Arizona's got it in the wrong zone. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we? And just go with the goal calls. The Canadians take it along the wing. The Coyotes gain possession. Quick pass across to Michelli. Slides the puck to Kessel. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. They put the puck into the offensive end. Scrum along the boards. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Oh, shoot! Hit against the wall. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically. Pay the price. Use your body and get the puck. Shot. Demarson right. with the pad. Time winding down on this one. While we have a chance, let's go to Carlin Bay standing by rinkside. Waugh has been the better of the two goalies, guys. You know, he's not given up as many goals, so he has the definitive edge in our matchup. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Caulfield. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Denied by the blocker. When that shot came quick and it was right out front, he had to be sharp and be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Arizona's got the puck along the boards. Through center. Quick pass to Kraus. Great poke check on the reach. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Kraus. And that carries off a body in traffic. Moves it to Brisebois. He carries the puck up along the wing. And that's intercepted by Valimaki. Slides the pass over to Kraus. Puck scooped up by Valimaki. The Canadians take possession here in the open ice. And talk about a hostile environment as the final seconds tick away. And these fans are not pleased with what they've seen tonight. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. Well, that's how you want to kick off a playoff series by taking that opening win and get that momentum on your side.
other side. Well, you know, 